Okay, so I saw this video from a Nissan. Uh, I just could not resist. Oh, by the way, a Nissan man. I've seen videos from years before, you know. It seems like nowadays you seem to be obsessed with wearing these GIMP masks. Did you lose a bet or something? Or, you know, I mean, did your mom make you put it on or something? Or you think it might make you look cool or superhero? I haven't figured that out. No matter, let's get into the video. For some time now, people have been demanding that I respond to this girl. She has an itty bitty channel, so I didn't really want to pay her any attention, as giving her attention, of course, only benefits her. But. Ah, oh, 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 that's why you didn't want to respond to her. You know, she has an itty bitty channel. What are you afraid? You're going to lose some subscribers to her now? You see, you're already started on the uh, appeal to popularity fallacy, as is. After enough harassment from you people, I've decided to finally respond to her video. Yeah, it's funny, because any and every little bit of attention feminists don't want, it's all of a sudden harassment. Her title is Anisian Rages About Feminism and Looks Stupid. Before I get started actually responding to your video, I want to congratulate you on the fact that you're not forced to wear a burqa, thanks to, of course, feminists. Now okay, so, Anisian, I... I gotta say, I need a citation on that one because I don't think we have ever in our history forced women to wear burgers. Now, the only people who I do see putting that possibility out there are the very same open border feminists who won't let anybody in from anywhere in the world regardless of culture, regardless of their willingness to assimilate. And anybody like me, or anybody else who points out, hey, uh, wearing burqas is part of the Islamic culture. They have a different way of life than us. <laughs> and uh, if they're not willing to assimilate, then you're asking for trouble bringing them in. Well, you guys call us Islamophobes. Prepare yourselves for statements from a woman clearly benefiting from many feminists who came before, shitting all over them. Because after all their hard work, she has the privilege to live in a society that is nowhere near as harsh to her as it was to many women who came before her. Yep. Well, how do you know what's best for her, Nisian? Remember, you're not a woman. <laughs> Well, you think because you're a feminist, you speak for all women now? See, this is one of the many issues people have with feminism. Anision, so I heard you like being cucked. That's how you're going to start this video with something you heard. What I actually enjoy is having sex with two amazing women, and I do so with zero remorse. Maybe. Well, you've actually been laid? Okay, I'm sorry, man. I, I mistook you for a virgin there. <laughs> My bad. You do more research in the future so you don't appear so ignorant. So, in case you don't know who Anision is, he's basically what happens when you combine a Pokemon hentai fetish, a spare chromosome, and 20 something years of sexual repression. So, she just threw all Down Syndrome people under the bus in order to take a jab at. Wow, Blair, that was fucked up. Compare Down Syndrome people to Anision? I mean, I wouldn't compare my worst enemies to Anision. As for the alleged 20 years of sexual oppression, I lost my virginity at age 14, and I've had sex literally thousands of times since then. But you get a- Okay, dude. Your right hand don't count. <laughs> Gold star for trying. Feminism is the advocacy of women's rights on the grounds of political, social, and economic equality to men. Congratulations, you read a dictionary definition. I can do that too. Yeah. Did you just use urban dictionary in response to me using an actual definition? Do you actually- Well- you see, Anisian here, you missed the point. Dictionary definitions can be out of date. Dif dictionary definitions may not accurately describe uh, a circumstance you know, as well as it was intended. A dictionary is still a fallible document. Still a fallible piece of literature. And then again, some of these words can be open to some subjective interpretations. I notice many progressives are very, very subjective in their 
use of words. And that's the whole point. People aren't mad at feminism because of what the dictionary says about feminism. People are mad about feminism for the actions of feminists. For what they do. Because what they do and what they preach they do or what the dictionary preaches they do are oftentimes two different things and I seems like to me you don't quite grasp that. Consider Urban Dictionary a credible source? Because if so, this is going to be a rough ride for you. The definitions I use are part of the foundation of the English language. Literally anyone can go to Urban Dictionary and define whatever they feel like however they want. And how about I pre- and as I pointed out before, dictionary definitions can be out of date. Dictionary definitions may not describe the current situation. People calling themselves a certain word doesn't mean that they fit that certain dictionary's definition of that word. The issue people have with feminism 99 times out of 100 isn't what the dictionary says about feminism. It's how feminists act, what they do, what they advocate for, their subjective definition of equality. And I use the quotations on equality because they obviously have a different idea of equality from most normal and rational people prove my point right now to really get you to understand how foolish you're being. Oh wow, looks like Blair White isn't defined yet. Since you seem to think Urban Dictionary is such a credible source, let's define Blair White as black and white wildcats. You tend to see roaming city streets covered in their own vomit and urine. Make sure you tweet at- Yeah, so pretty much, you know, if you don't agree with Onision, he's gonna write some uh, false definition about you in Urban Dictionary to prove a point. <laughs> you not understand yet? why people don't like feminists I mean because whether or not you realize this but you engaged in a typical feminist tactic Onision when you posted this definition to Urban Dictionary so we can all celebrate these wonderful Blair Whites and their majestic feline ways because people say stupid shit like egalitarianism is better than feminism even though it's basically the same thing they both call for equal rights actually it's not the same thing and the very definition that you cited in order to decimate everyone shows that feminism operates in the sphere of women's rights it's right there in the definition egalitarians are concerned with the rights of everyone regardless of skin color or gender it's a very important distinction to make and it's one that you could have easily only made if your IQ was anywhere above mm, negative six. Wow, that would be a really good point you made if I didn't literally say basically the same thing, even though it's- Yeah, good, Anisia. Now, name me one egalitarian that honestly believes that this gender wage gap is due to sexist discrimination. Name one egalitarian that honest to God believes that one in five women are going to be sexually assaulted when they go to college. They want egalitarian that thinks <laughs> that women are oppressed in what? In the West. Yeah. So, feminism and egalitarianism are not the same thing. They're not basically the same thing, dude. You know, again, this kind of uh, revolves around the actions and the advocacy of the two different groups. You know, you, you get that yet? Do you, do you understand that point? I mean, come on, man, it's right there, dude. <laughs> basically the same thing even though it's basically the same thing basically the same thing actually it's not the same thing instead of literally the same thing you then go on to say it's a very important distinction to make and it's one that you could have easily made if your iq was anywhere above mm, negative six meanwhile again you seem to want to be perceived as a credible person and yet you stated i have an iq that doesn't exist if you only took the time to google it you of course would have known that okay do you honestly honestly believe for one second 
she was being 100% serious and expecting people to believe that that IQ actually exists. Come on, dude. She's insulting you. You know? It's like when I tell people they have an IQ of a dead weasel. You know, I don't literally mean that. It's just another way of calling somebody really fucking stupid. You catch my drift here? Do you catch my drift here? <laughs> Whereas when feminists sit there and say women are paid 77 cents on the dollar to men for the exact same work. You guys literally do mean that. Do you not understand the difference? Over a thousand people voted. 69% of feminists believe that women are equal to men. Whoa, look at Anision dropping truth bombs with a Twitter poll. Much science, very true. Since that time I made the video, the poll got over 12,000 votes. Regardless of how valid or invalid you think a Twitter poll is, you're still looking at 12,000 people who stated what their beliefs are. Let oh my god, you have a poll! Oh, yeah! You know, that just proves everything you've said before, huh? Right. Except it doesn't. Pollster Frank Luntz, and this is a guy who does polling for a living, has even come out and said the wording in the question makes all the difference. You can ask basically, well I shouldn't say basically, the exact same question and word it in different ways and get different results. That's already been admitted, dude. Next, even with such a vague question like yours, people can draw on different conclusions. You said you asked off, uh, you said you did a Twitter poll on feminists. Do they believe men and women are equal? Well, what exactly do you mean by that? And I'll give you an example. Do you mean, are they physically equal right now? Like men and women are physically equal? That's going to change up your answer a bit. Uh, are they legally equal? That's going to change your answer a little bit among feminists. Maybe where you're getting the inferior part to as in they think women are treated inferior under the eyes of the law. Uh, do you think uh, men and women are physically equal, like all across the board? Uh, you know, and you're going to get some feminists that say, no, nah, we think women are better. Just like, you know, you will go on in one of your videos and say, well, you think women are superior to men, as your personal opinion. So, you see how the wording of the question can uh, be a bit tricky and can change your results. So, that simple basic question, that tw Twitter poll, really doesn't prove anything at all. percent of the people who voted, identifying themselves as feminists, said that women are superior, and 15% voted inferior. 11% and 15% almost cancels itself out. We like to invalidate things on Twitter when they don't agree with us, but you and I both know well, just because something's on Twitter doesn't mean it's invalid. This is one of many examples of important statements made on Twitter that is not degraded by the fact that it's on the site. You disregard that poll because it's simply not convenient to you. People you- or, except for the fact it's a Twitter poll and it's absolutely meaningless. It's, well, not even just a Twitter poll, it's a poll in general. It's almost meaningless. All it's saying is, what's your opinion? I could put up a Twitter poll right now and ask, okay, gun rights advocates, how many of you want to see dead children in the street? Guess what my answer is going to be on that one? I'm going to get a hundred percent no. You see where I'm going with this? I made... I could put up a poll that says, do you support... Ah, oh, you know, I'll get you a little bit more specific one. Do you support background checks? Well... I don't know exactly what answer I'm going to get with that, but I can tell you the wording can be confusing. Do I uh, do I mean do you support 
the current background check system that's in place? Do you support background checks solely at FFLs? Uh, do you support background checks being conducted by private individuals, you know, on private transfers? You see, that's where the wording gets a little tricky. And it really shakes the rea uh, reliability of polling. But even then, <coughs> what 50% of the people say, or what any percentage of the people say, doesn't necessarily make it true. We can conduct a poll right now and ask people if they think the sky is blue or if they think the sky is black or the sky is red, you know? And 100% of the people can say the sky is red. Doesn't make it true, obviously. It's a poll. It's an opinion poll. It's based on opinions. Do you not understand that concept? Utilize the same tactic on a regular basis. Polls don't agree with them. They immediately try to invalidate them. And you ignoring 12,000 people. You know, I'm not a mind reader, but I think I get what Blair is getting at here, Anissi, and it's a shame that you can't understand this. Maybe she was right when you said you had an IQ of negative six. All right, the poll you put out is very similar along the lines to a poll saying, okay, do you think murder is bad? <laughs> yeah, you're going to get a lot of people thinking to say murder is bad. You know, not many people are going to come out and say murder is good. This is going to be along the lines of a poll of, do you think rape's bad? How many people do you think are going to say, no, we think rape is good? Of course! Now, when you're getting into feminism here, and the word equal, that's a very subjective term with feminists. Hate to break it to you. The feminist definition of equality is not necessarily the same <clears throat> definition that everyone else has for equality. Yeah? Um, you know, when you get into the... It's just like the feminist definition of rape. It doesn't fall under the dictionary definition of rape. You know? It's funny because you can sit there and say, you know, well, oh, you don't like feminism? Look at the dictionary. Whenever... Feminists start talking about rape and rape culture? You all of a sudden want to throw the dictionary out the window. People, that takes a special kind of stubbornness. And you know, Anision, it's really interesting you're making this argument. I mean, do you remember when you said this? Personally, I've always felt that women are superior to men. That uh, yeah. I'm shocked, Anision. I thought you said you were a feminist. No, not really. It wouldn't have shocked me hearing you make that statement, especially considering the fact you're claiming that you're a feminist. You see, some of us have been around feminists before, quite a bit. Some of us have, you're not the only feminist I've heard, make that comment that they think women are superior. So, here's my question to you. Do you not think that that bias there maybe, just maybe play a little bit of a role with the idea that you think that women somehow are not treated equally in the West or not given a fair shake in the West. You know, think about it here a second. You know, you think women are superior. But in many areas in the West, men outperform women in certain areas. In your mind, well, how can that be? Women are superior to men in your eyes. It has to be, it has to be that women are being discriminated against, right? Now, just fill me out on this one. Just maybe. Lack of self-awareness, man. Just one request, work on your editing skills. Personally, I've always felt that women are superior to men. That lack of self-awareness, man. You keep cutting off statements. It's super annoying because it makes it look like I'm the one who doesn't know how to properly edit videos. When I Onision, nobody is denying that you know how to edit videos. <laughs> I see all the jump cuts in your video. Maybe, just maybe people have an issue with you, on at least some of your points, 
that you can't string together a coherent thought. That you need all these jump cuts. <laughs> you know? Can you ever once just do a video? Just you, no jump cuts at all. Just come out and state your opinion. You know, yeah. I got some uh, videos here. You know, obviously they're not near as well professionally edited as your videos. Uh, you know, I've got videos here that, you know, of me just saying everything straightforward and I'm sure it doesn't look as snappy as, you know, yours does. But, you know, here's the thing. You have to use jump cuts. I bet you right now, if you actually had to come up and put a coherent thought together, <laughs> you know, and put it on a video without having to jump cut, without having to do a bunch of editing, you fail miserably. And yeah, you know, you did get called out you on that. Or do you not think that women are superior to men now? I'm responding to your video. As for you pointing out that I think women are superior to men, I think most women are superior to men. But as I established in previous videos, a belief that a gender is superior does not equate to hypocrisy when a person is fighting for equal rights. Just because I think- <sighs> Okay, so Blair didn't take anything out of context. You apparently do think women are superior to men. Or, most women are superior to men. Alright. So, that being said, Blair didn't take your opinion out of context, did she? Now, on the flip side of this, what do you think would happen? Say, I don't know, uh, Fox News came on, and say Sean Hannity. I know you don't like Fox News, and I know you don't like Sean Hannity. Say Sean Hannity came on and said on Fox News, well, I think most men are superior to women. You know, let's put the shoe on the other foot here. You think there wouldn't be a backlash? Oh, come on. It'd be all over MSNBC, all over CNN, uh, CNN all over Washington Post, and every feminist rag out there. Fox News thinks men are superior to women. Fox News is chauvinistic. Sean Hannity is chauvinistic. Sean Hannity is a misogynistic woman hater. That's the backlash you'd get. So, you know, yeah. In the West, you can go around saying all you want. I think most women are superior to men. You're not going to get any backlash. Second you say, I think most men are superior to women, you will get a backlash. You see, do you understand the double standard there? Do you not? Do you understand it yet? Or are you just going to sit there and pretend like this hasn't been pointed out to you? Or are you that stupid you just don't get it? What is it, man? What is it? And the other thing. When you sit there and make statements like this, this begs the question of, okay, you think most women are superior to men. Numbers in society, say on wages, show that men are doing a better job at earning money. Currently speaking. Do you think that that may play a role, that bias may play a role in why you think Women are getting discriminated against. You think that bias may cause you to close your ears to facts? Just a little bit. It's being pointed out to you, dude. Come on. We try, you know, this is stuff people have tried to point out to feminists for quite some time. think ice cream is better than cake doesn't mean I'm going to try and stop people from eating cake. And okay, and you that last statement was fucking bullshit and you know it. Yeah. It's not MRAs and it's certainly not egalitarians that are holding these diversity meetings and saying no whites and no men. Feminists do though. 
In fact, you know, since you're into polling, you ought to go around and take a street poll amongst feminists and tell them you're supporting Donald Trump and see what type of reaction they give you. I'm not even kidding. Go ahead and try it. You don't actually have to support Donald Trump. But tell a feminist you're supporting Donald Trump and they will lose their shit. Most of them will lose their shit on you. How could you support that guy? So, no, it, you know, that whole, uh, well, I might like eating ice cream, but I'm not going to stop somebody from eating cake, Steve, is fucking bullshit, dude. <laughs> you know? And, you know what? Feminism falls into this authoritarian leftist mentality, okay? You're not fooling me. There's a lot of overlap. In fact, you do another poll on feminists. How many of them would be okay? with me legally being able to own this rifle. I guarantee you, more than the general population would be opposed to this rifle being legal. In fact, there are a lot of feminists that have come out and tried to make gun control an issue for feminists. And there are a lot of feminists that tend to support gun control. You know? Are you telling me that gun control is now an equal rights issue? My fucking ass. Are you telling me that uh, that they're going to have a live and let live issue with that? Bullshit. You know, this is one of the reasons why myself and others oppose feminism. It's because we see stupid crap like that. I mean, in gun control was just one of the many things that got me into being an anti-feminist. Let's see what else you got. In fact, if they're both consumed equally, that's fine with me. I just personally like the ice cream more. So the point- So wait, did I catch that analogy correctly? You're okay with it as long as there's consumed equally? So you don't even care about equal opportunity, you care about equal results. See, maybe, just maybe this is a problem people have with feminism is that you want to throw equal opportunity out the window in lieu of trying to get equal results. You see, this is another fundamental difference between egalitarianism and feminism. If you haven't realized that yet. What you were trying to make was actually completely pointless. And as you obviously don't know, I identify as a feminazi. You should really watch my previous videos before speaking of me further. Because okay, Anisha and I will do just that, you... Feminazi you. Though there are some feminists that do get offended by hearing that word. Because you clearly don't know what you're talking about. You prioritize your closed-minded personal experiences over the fucking truth. Yeah, and you are prioritizing your allegiance to a dictionary over the truth. The word feminism was created in the 1890s. 1890s! To pretend as if the movement hasn't changed since then at all, or to stick your bobblehead so far in the dirt that you don't see that the actions of third-wave feminists have greatly turned off a lot of people from the movement, is stupid. She's clearly stating that the definition of feminism is not accurate to what feminism represents today. And she's... Yeah, no, because we're all supposed to believe that there's some sort of mythical patriarchy. We're all supposed to believe that there's a gender wage gap because of sexism towards women, you know. We're all supposed to believe that, you know, one in five women are going to be raped when they go to college, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, and if we don't, you know, we're just bigoted, sexist, and uh, we just don't truly know what the definition of feminism is, right, Anisian? Only able to do this because she immediately wrote off this poll that thousands of feminists voted on, clearly pointing out that the majority of feminists believe in equality. That's how people can... Yeah, no, because, you know, opinion polls are concrete evidence, you know, there, there's nothing subjective about them at all. Uh, people are always going to answer 100% truthfully. It's just like, you know, uh, if I was to uh, go to a country and do an opinion poll and so asking them if I thought murder was bad, and I got a 100% yes, murder is bad results, that means mean that that country has no murders at all. Because, you know, obviously 100% of the respondents responded yes, and 
if they believe murder's bad, then they're not going to have anybody in that country that does it, right? Continue living their lie. They're faced with facts, they immediately state it's invalid, and they continue their narrow minded mindset that's focused on a negative rather than a positive. Here's a couple feminists at a rally. They look peaceful, they look happy, they no doubt believe in equality. But this is super. <laughs> Even trying to show the most vanilla and pro equality version of feminist you could show in East Indian, and you still failed. Anyone else notice the woman on the left with the blue sign? Guess what that choice is? <laughs> I think we all know when she's talking choice, she's talking abortion. And gotta say, Anisian, there are a lot of women opposed to abortion. Yeah. There, there are men opposed to abortion too. The fact of the matter is, is that the objective of a successful abortion is to end a human life. So just maybe, maybe, taking it with a cavalier attitude, such as feminists do, isn't necessarily an equality issue at this point. You know, just maybe, thinking, hey, you know, as a taxpayer, I shouldn't be forced to pay for somebody else's abortion isn't a gender equality issue. You just maybe, maybe partial birth abortions are bad. I mean, if it took you eight to nine months to make that decision, how how seriously did you really take that decision? You know, when you have survivors of abortions such as Gianna Jessen who feminists completely ignore her word, ignore her opinion, ignore what she has to say on the issue because it doesn't fit their narrative. You know, just maybe this isn't a gender equality issue and maybe this is an issue about somebody's life. But no, 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 that doesn't fit your narrative now, does it, Anisian? We're boring, right? There's no violence, there's no screaming, there's no chaos. So of course we'll never hear about it in the news because we are a society that loves to focus on the negative. If you guys- Let me explain to you the difference here, Anisian, when this happens. You see, whenever feminists come out and be violent at an event, the mainstream media usually portrays it as both sides losing their cool and being violent. Whenever, like, take for example, all the eight cases of abortion doctors being murdered since Roe, since the decades after Roe vs. Wade, and the mainstream media paints that out as an epidemic of violence against abortion doctors and abortion clinics. You know, whereas a few years back when feminists went to the University of Toronto and pulled fire alarms and shut down an event that didn't fit their narrative and the feminists were the ones engaging in violence, well, nobody can be critical of that now, can they, Onision? <laughs> yeah, uh, and if we are, in your eyes, we're labeled as sexists have any experience with watching the news, you will very likely 100% agree with me. So what do we do? We turn feminism... Yeah, the media engages in hype, but you know what? The media is hardly anti-feminists. You know? And, and since you would admit that the media tends to only show the violence and stuff like that, you know, and that we should really give feminists a break on this, when are you going to extend the same courtesy to law-abiding gun owners? I mean, you know, shoot. I mean, when is your crowd going to show that same courtesy to us? When is your crowd <laughs> going to show that same courtesy to people who are pro-life? When is your crowd going to show that same courtesy to people who are free market? Since you believe the media is engaged in hype. 
happen to something like this. This awkward, weird situation becomes one of the only things we want to focus on when we think of feminism anymore. Here's a normal, peaceful rally. Someone holding up a sign, stop killing women. Which, guess what? Many women are killed for doing things that men can do without being punished. One Except for the fact that in the West, Anisian, that's not the case at all. See, a common theme that a lot of feminists like to shout. But when a man does it... And usually it has no bearing on the truth. Name one thing. In the West, a man does that he doesn't get punished for, but if a woman did it, she'd be punished for it. Go ahead. Go ahead. I can name you plenty of things that if a man did it, he'd be more likely to go to jail for than if a woman did it. Such as statutory rape. A man's much more likely to go to jail for that than a woman is. Sexual assault would be another one. If a man hits a woman, he's more likely to go to jail than if a woman hits a man. Now, name one right that men have in the West that women still don't have. Go ahead. Go ahead. Take your time. Because I think you're going to be taking quite a bunch of it example is this man beating a woman for allegedly removing her burqa. Meanwhile, that man's free to walk around without a burqa. Not yeah, except that's in the Middle East. That's in Islamic culture. That's not Western culture, dude. And people like me have pointed it out that, hey, maybe you should focus on that. But no, instead you want to call people like me Islamophobes or accuse people like me of or other anti-feminists of derailing the issue so you guys can get back to squealing about your first world problems. Obviously that is one of many reasons why feminism was and continues to be important in the world in general. Oh god damn, Anissa and your stupidity hurts sometimes. That's never been a problem in Western culture. Never. Ever. Not when feminism was started, certainly not today. You want to keep on pointing that stuff out? How about you go? How about you guys go and try to fix that problem in the Middle East instead of whining about first world, not even first world issues? How about that? Instead of complaining about this mythical white male patriarchy in the West. But back to my point, the majority of feminists believe in equality and wish to fight for women to have equal rights. I prove that in a poll that you conveniently ignore. Meanwhile, you have no poll of your own proving feminists believe any different. So I think- And again, the poll is concrete evidence of nothing. It doesn't take any effort for me or anybody to click a yes, no, maybe on a poll. It doesn't take any effort for me to say, well, I believe murder is bad in a poll. I believe rape is bad in a poll. No effort whatsoever. Polls are inaccurate. What we are going off of, what people are going off of, is what feminists actually advocate for. You know, the specifics of what they advocate for and their behavior. That is something you feminists have yet to address. I think for now, we'll go ahead and go with the only person who actually has evidence. Feminism. So that means we're definitely not going with you then. Feminism is not synonymous with women's rights. Oh my god, did you really just say that? It's in the definition. The definition is the same in the Cambridge Dictionary. It says basically the same thing in the Merriam-Webster Dictionary. And Dictionary.com also agrees. If you went... Yeah, quote the dictionary definition all you want. It doesn't mean that feminists are literally for equality. The dif dictionary definition doesn't take into account the actions of feminists. It's really easy to claim that you're for equality and not be for equality. You know, I don't know anybody who isn't for at least equal opportunity. You know, 
I don't know too many people like, nah, 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 get back in the kitchen. Who literally mean it. You know, I know people who say it all the time as a joke, but they don't literally mean it. You know, it doesn't take into account the skewed perception that modern feminists have. You know, patriarchy, anybody? Gender wage gap, anybody? Rape culture, anybody? You know, so again, quoting the dictionary is a non argument. You know, it's just you saying, but the dictionary says that we're for equality too. Again, your actions aren't in line with that from the perception of the normal, average, rationally thinking human being. To a college and you didn't respect definitions you would flunk out being against feminism does not mean that you are against women's rights it means that you're in opposition to the ideological framework in which feminism operates under in 1848 a bunch of people gathered for the sake of women being treated equally for women have voting rights etc now i know okay dude discussion ain't about feminists in 1848 it's about feminists today if you haven't fucking realized that yet <laughs> you know you can't tell me you're that stupid I mean, is it possible for somebody to be that stupid? Oh, you and your ignorance want to believe that feminism hasn't accomplished much since then. It's super convenient for you to have your position, as hating feminism is a pretty popular thing right now, due to a lot of people online having an incredibly uneducated perspective on feminism, and somehow the- Quote in the dictionary definition ain't an educated perspective on it, Anisian, and that's so far the only thing you've been able to do inability to focus on anything but negative when it comes to feminism. Thanks to feminism in 2016, women were finally allowed to have any job in the military. Thanks. Okay, so Onision, tell me this. When is feminism going to get around to making the APFT standards for men and women the exact same? Answer me that question since feminism is all about equality. Oh wait, the feminists are AWOL on that one. To feminism these events also occurred one of the most important being the rights women have when they're victims of violence except for the fact that VAWA gives even more special protections to women under the law when it comes to violence as if they didn't already have enough special protections uh, men don't get any special protections under the law when it comes to violence unless of course you're a member of an ethnic minority or you're homosexual then, and only then, you might get some special protections under the law. You're a straight white male, you haven't got any special protections under the law. So good job, Anisian. Good job showing us how feminism really is not about equality including victims of trafficking. Even still today, women are struggling with having rights to their own body. As for some... Okay, so here you go with the abortion issue again. And again, abortion is not just simply an issue over a right over just a woman's body. The human life is being taken in this process. That's why there are people that want restrictions on it. But since we're on the topic of abortion, since women can have an abortion, why can't guys decide, you know what, I don't really want to have that child with you in the first place. So if you decide to have the child, you're doing it on your own. Come on, we're a feminist on that since you guys really want equality. So you claim. Where are you guys on the issue of taxpayer-funded abortion? Because it seems like to me every... Feminist who has an opinion on taxpayer-funded abortion seems to think that's a woman's right, too. You know, how about you leave my wallet alone when you're getting your abortion? How about that one? But no, with feminists such as you, Anisian, equality is just a one-way street, ain't it? some crazy reason. Some people seem to believe that even when a woman is raped, she is not allowed to abort the baby she was impregnated with by the rapist. Because of course they no doubt have a religious agenda and care more about their made-up fairies than the victims right in front of them. Thanks to- Okay, aside from a person who's no longer a congressman anymore and about enough people for me to count on my fingers, how many people honestly take that 
position that a woman's not allowed to get shouldn't be allowed to get an abortion in the case of rape. Come on, dude. No, there is no legitimate movement to ban that. You know, let's stick with reality here. I know you're a feminist, and I know reality is not something, not a strong point with feminists, but let's try to at least get to some semblance of reality here, dude. Feminism, you can't discriminate against people based on sex. Yeah, this is why feminism is great. In fact, if you're a woman and you're sexually discriminated on, you can actually sue people. And so when are we going to extend that same courtesy to men? Oh, wait, I forgot. Sorry. Yeah, that's right. With feminism, equality is a one-way street. I forgot. Sorry for even asking, Anisian. And that, too, is fucking awesome. Again, rape is a huge problem even in our first world country. And thanks to feminists, rape victims have more rights against the people who sexually violated them. Again, Anisian, you proved to us that feminists have no bearing on reality. Our society has always been very protective of women. Not much has changed. Uh, if VAWA, you know, actually, it gets even more privileges to women, more special protections to women. So again, Anisian, if you're trying to prove to us that feminism is about gender equality, you're failing miserably. <laughs> Now, I'm only two minutes into your video, but I am going to go ahead and stop because I'd like to spend time with my family at some point today. But I think I've more than thoroughly established how uneducated you are. And also... Okay, if by proving how uneducated she is, you mean showing how ungrounded in reality you and other feminists are, mission accomplished. How obviously ungrateful you are. You, the person who's clear... And you show us another reason why people don't like feminists. You guys are authoritarian leftists. You see, like blacks who leave the authoritarian leftist camp, women who leave the feminist camp, whose feminism was also authoritarian leftists, women who leave that camp or plantation have some of the worst vitriol and hatred thrown at them. Just as blacks who leave the Democrat plantation. So again, Anisian, all you're doing is showing us how totalitarian you are, how authoritarian you are. You're not helping your case. Clearly battling against feminism could very well be raped. And without feminism, the person who raped you would have even less of a chance of seeing any time in jail than he already does. And on You see, this is another reason why people don't like feminism, Anisian. Is because, you know, while you're sitting there with your rhetoric on rape victims, we really know what that means. And that you guys propose to throw out due process in certain crimes you know and one of our principles we have in this country is that we have the presumption of innocence until proven guilty meaning we don't sentence you for any crime until you've had a fair trial That goes for all crimes. And when feminists want to throw that out the book, you're throwing part of our constitutionally protected values out the window. You're throwing a tenant of a free society out the window. Yes, it sucks uh, saying guilty men and guilty people walk. Yeah. But we also... Uh, agree that it's a far greater crime to put an innocent person in jail for a crime they didn't commit. And moreover, I don't see a lot of these false rape accusers in jail and I don't see feminists lifting a finger for that. Come on, you know about the case of the Duke, the Duke Lacrosse. Did Crystal Gale Magnum go to jail for that? What about Mark Nifon? A clear-cut case of a false rape allegation and a prosecutor who violated the law in order to attempt to convict three people 
he knew wasn't guilty. You know, what about the false UVA rape scandal? How much jail time did that woman do? What about Mattress Girl? How much jail time did she do for that false allegation of rape? So no, Onision, you know, feminists start about equality. Well, I take that back. Feminism views equality as a one-way street. On top of that, if you got pregnant, in a society without feminism, you would be forced to have that baby. And additionally, without feminism, you could also potentially be forced to marry the person who raped you. It's in Deuteronomy 22. You're really not grounded in reality, Onision. You're not doing feminism any favors. <laughs> Name one case where that's happened. Name one case in this country where we forced a man, or we forced a woman to marry her rapist. 228-29. Long before feminism had a foothold. Thanks to feminism, you don't have to spend the rest of your life maritally shackled to the person who sexually violated you. But if that individual didn't want to marry you, then guess what? Without feminism, he won't be forced to pay you child support. So here you- Yeah, Anishin, you know, because a woman needs a man like a fish needs child support, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, You know, but since we have abortions today, uh, we need child support. Why now? Oh, and if feminism was so for equality, then why is it that whenever a woman is awarded custody of the children in a divorce, which happens like 90% of the time, and the man's forced to pay child support, which is like 90% of the time, why is it that in most states, a guy can go to jail for not paying child support, but visitation rights aren't enforced with such penalties? Where's feminism on that? Oh, that's right. Equality with feminism is, and always will be, a one-way street. You are a victim of a horrible crime forced to bring a rapist's baby into this world with no possible punishment given to the rapist thanks to people like you. Yeah, because rape totally isn't one of our highest felonies now, is it, Anisian? You just don't do too well with reality now, do you, man? Using ignorance to fight against people who would fight for you. The majority of people do not. Or maybe she's grounded in reality, unlike you not commit crimes. The majority of people are not extremists. The majority of people live peaceful lives. Most of us know all this to be true because we've gone out in public and seen how consistently orderly things tend to be in the majority of this country, which happens to be primarily low crime area. So considering how non-extreme most people are, wouldn't you think that most people who- Or the fact, dude, that just because somebody doesn't come out and say, hey, I disagree, doesn't mean that they agree with you. And it certainly doesn't mean that your side <laughs> isn't the fucking extremist side, you know. And it certainly doesn't mean anybody who does come out and say, hey, yo, I disagree, you know. Abortion is murder. It doesn't make them an extremist either. Who fight for women's rights are also non-extreme. They simply want equality between the genders. That does not make... You know what, Nishin? You haven't shown feminism is about equality yet. Not once in this video. All you've done is show how ungrounded in reality feminists such as yourself are. You've shown how willing you are to go out and attack a woman who doesn't agree with you. You've shown how totalitarian you are. But you have not shown yet how feminism is for equality. Them an extremist that does not make them something negative it makes them decent so in the future instead of fighting against people who are fighting for you you simply saying thank you would suffice hey anisian i got a better one for you take a long walk off a short pier <laughs>